The first step once you're on the Nitrato website is to log in or create an account, which can be done by going to the top right hand corner. Once you're logged in, you have two options. You can either select Sons of the Forest if it's located on the main page, or you can go to the top bar where it says products, click on that, and then select game server. In the game server section, all you need to do now is search for the Sons of the Forest, select it, and then you're good to go. Once you're on the Sons of the Forest page, you can select one of the recommended server packages and also adjust the location where your server will be hosted. It's important to note that selecting a server location closer to you will result in less lag. To find out the recommended server host location, all you're going to do is click on Customize Server, scroll down, and then start a latency test. Lastly, you need to decide between a subscription or a prepaid plan. A subscription means you'll be billed a set amount of money each month and you won't have to worry about your server expiring. On the other hand, choosing a prepaid plan is similar to like a trial run. You purchase the server for a specific duration and if you fail to make a payment before the server runtime expires, the server will then be deleted, resulting in the loss of all your data. It's worth noting that the runtime is measured in real life days. Once you've made your decision, select the desired server package, which will take you to the payment method area. Now from here, you're gonna just choose your payment method, but most importantly, you have to enter the promo code. So until July 9th, 2023, you can use the code CANNIBALS to get a 25% discount. After that date though, you can use my code NINJA10 to receive a 10% discount. With that all sorted out, go ahead and purchase your server. Now that we have our server, head to the main menu and then select your account on the top right hand corner of the screen. And once you do that, a drop down menu will appear. From that drop down menu, you want to select My Services. This page will list all the servers that you have with Nitrato and all you're going to do is scroll down until you find the Sons of the Forest server and click the web interface icon. Now that you're on the server's dashboard, the first thing you have to do is stop your server, just like I'm doing right now. This is crucial because if you don't, you won't be able to make any changes to your server. Now that the server is turned off, you want to go to the left hand side where it says general and select that. By default, when you purchase the server, it's going to be set in normal difficulty. And if you're happy with that, then all you need to do is give it a name and a password if you want, then simply save the changes and you can restart your server. However, if you want to play on a harder difficulty, for example, then the first thing you need to go to is the save mode. Now the save mode offers two settings, new and continue. Generally, continue setting is preferred as that allows you to retain your world and progress. However, you only use the new setting when you want to erase your current world and change the difficulty in the selected slot. Do keep in mind though that if you were to leave it on new, then every time the server restarts, it would wipe your world. Save slots, they function similarly to that of Minecraft, starting at slot 1 and ending at slot 10. This allows you to have one world that could be your building server, and then the second slot could be your dedicated world for example. The game mode corresponds to the game's difficulty level and you can only have one difficulty per save slot. This means that if I was to change the game mode right now to hard, save the change and restart the server, the server is still going to be on normal. In order to change this to a hard difficulty, what I need to do is select that in the game mode, then I need to change the save mode to new, save my changes, restart my server, and now when I go find my server, I will have a fresh new world and it's going to be on hard difficulty. Now, the save interval determines how frequently the game will save your progress, so by default every 10 minutes. The idle day cycle speed basically freezes the server while you're offline, so long as you leave it at default settings. Otherwise, if you raise it up, then you might, you know, play on spring, you log off, come back tomorrow, and then you're in winter. So, if you don't want the game to continue while you're offline, leave it as it is. Now, the last two settings basically control the frame rate of the server, which I recommend leaving them as they are. Now, with that all said, if you're happy with this and you're not going to run a custom server, simply save your changes, start your server, and then from there, let's go ahead and find our server. So all you're going to do is go multiplayer, hit join, and then swap it from peer to peer to dedicated, and then type in your name. And then once you find it, go ahead and type in the password if you have one and then you'll go ahead and spawn into the world. As of right now, before you leave the server, make sure you save your game. If you do not, then all your progress will be lost. Unfortunately, this happened to me. I made a world. I just did a bunch of things, didn't save, quit, and then boom, I lost everything. I had to spawn again from the damn helicopter 
and then get all my work done, built the tarp, saved my game, and then I kept all my progress. So make sure you do that. Now we're going to create a custom difficulty world. So to start, select continue in the save mode. Then I'm going to make this slot five just for the guard. And then I'm going to select the game mode and make it custom. After that, save the changes. And then once that is done, we can start the next section in the config files, which is located on the left hand side. So what I'm going to do now is copy and paste the custom settings into the file and these will be in the description for you to copy as well. I recommend copying exactly what I have listed down below because if you get one part wrong, even if that's a bracket or a comma, it's going to break your server. So make sure you get this right. Now something to note as well is that the game settings section, which is just above, can be edited for non-custom worlds. So for that hard server that we made about like five minutes ago, you could actually come here, slap that in, and then enable tree growth if you wanted to. So on the screen right now will be all the current settings that can be edited in the INI file and detail what they do. The custom settings will only apply if the server is set to custom difficulty. Once you got that all set up the way you want, go ahead and save your changes. Now the last thing we're going to do is allow ourselves and our friends to use admin commands on the server. This feature can be done regardless of the difficulty set. So to start, select the dedicated server box and then select whitelist. Once in this new section, you need to go ahead and add your Steam ID onto one of the following lines and then add your friend's ID on the second line. Save the changes and when you go back into your world, you'll have admin commands. There'll be a link in the description to help you locate your Steam ID by the way. Lastly, if you're on the server list page, you simply need to select the down arrow and then press edit guest access rights. This will allow you to add a friend who has a Nitrato account to help you manage the server. With all that being said, thank you for watching the video and I hope you have an amazing day.